Welcome back, everybody. And we are, I've laid down my first piece of actual tape besides masking out the patterns. So this episode, we're going to the cut colors. Um, I'm going to be starting out with the pink because it uses the finest tape with the tightest curves. And so that is most likely to roll back on me with a 16th inch tape. So I'm going to do spray down the pink first on, on the hood and the roof and the trunk lid and the sail panels and go from there. So yeah, this is going to be cool. Uh, pink first, violet next, and then uh, I'm going to mask over that stuff and ignore it until all the other blues and teals and stuff like that are done because within the blues and teals, there's going to be different uh, effects. So I'm going to be laying down maybe like some sort of fish scales or uh, some sort of fine line, you know, detail circuit board type stuff. I don't know. We're going to find out. So join me on this adventure. It's going to be cool. Okay. Well, I just started getting the masking done for all the magenta stuff. The reason why I'm doing all the magenta stuff first is because uh, these tight curves with the 16th tape, like this one, for whatever reason, this is, this is much older. And then I transferred it to this and look at that, just a mess. Roll back, roll back, shrinkage, like roll back. So I'm gonna get all the pink painted in first and then mask over the paint and then just let that sit under tape until all the other colors are down. But for now, this is where I'm at. So I'm gonna start, it's not just gonna be pink because the pink really, it's, it's, uh, it's not quite as translucent as all the other colors. So it does actually lay down some, some pigment. I'll show you the, the bottle in a second. But, so I'm gonna do some, some violet first, some violet zebra stripes in the pattern, have the zebra stripes fade out where the, where the ribbon parts are, and then just carry that on as well as use violet for the, the drop shadowing uh, underneath the ribbons. So as you can see, these candy colors are, are very clear, with the exception of the magenta. It's actually, I'm actually kind of running low on this. But yeah, it's actually kind of milky, so it does actually, it's not like true candy, I would say, but as far as I can tell, uh, no one makes like a, a true, a true pink candy that doesn't have a little bit of milkiness to it. So this may look like an absolute mess to you. Probably because it looks like an absolute mess to me, but what we're looking at here is three and a half hours of work to mask off the smallest color in the whole paint scheme. Although it's only gentlemen that watch this channel. Okay, so I've got all the, the purple and magenta done on the hood, on the hood only, because of course I ran out of magenta for the rest of the car. But for now I got these, these four sections here, I've got them taped out, because I'm gonna be doing a lace pattern. I went through my, my bucket of lace and I, I found one. I, I think this will work, uh, work the best with the car. And yeah, so I'm gonna shoot my teal through some lace and uh, <clears throat> yeah, go from there. So what I'm doing is to hold the lace down, I've uh, I got this stack of magnets here that I've, I've taped all up. So, so these will do the trick to hold it down, I hope. Oh, this is starting to look really good. Yeah, zebra print and got a little lace in there so it'll even match my underwear. Okay, another day in the shop once again. And today I have this fine line spaghetti that I just kind of quickly whipped up yesterday before 
shutting down the shop. I like it, so it's gonna stay. I got a cool idea of how I'm gonna shade it too. Um, so now I get to take that and transfer it to this. Somehow, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out because I mean, I can't exactly cut out different sections and, and do that. So I might just use it as a reference, stick it right next to it and see if I can mirror that. Just like that we have some blue sections masked off and there is also more blue sections under here as well as obviously you know out here but like there's so many pieces to this puzzle that it's it's kind of like overwhelming so I figured I just get this these done in the middle and then uh, be able to unmask that and then go from there <laughs> getting somewhere starting to look like a lowrider isn't it hey home it's your ride yeah wow okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw some gold in there Watch out. Just about two, and have a look at this. Oof, that is looking good. And this, uh, the the sheen that's coming from from the overhead lights, that's obviously going to go away uh, once it's clear coated. So when it's cleared, let me just click on the flashlight. All the metal flake and stuff, you can't even really tell, but all the metal flake will be showing through all this so these silver hard lines those are final lines that's that's how it's gonna look but when it's clear coated of course all the flake is just gonna absolutely pop underneath that but yeah there's there's my lines like you know pulled off and yeah as well as this little 16th so it looks pretty sick um, I'm gonna keep working at it tomorrow and go from there super quick little time lapse that you saw of me laying down this pattern here. That was actually over the course of two hours and it is now 1.35 in the morning. This mermaid pattern is probably a lot smaller than I should have used for this as it's taken me two hours to reach this point. But I mean, it'll be worth it in the end because it's this is a rolling billboard. I mean, this is showing people that I can do a little bit of everything. Apparently, I don't know, I'm figuring out as I go. My feet are sore and I'm going to bed. And summer is over, it's getting cold out. Not a fan of that.
Okay guys, so I've got the main panels all filled in. So I use the uh, fingerprinting pattern. So I got all my fingerprinting done, as well as the, uh, the drop shadows around all the edges behind these little loop-de-doopties. And yeah, of course, where tape goes underneath other tape, you can see I, I laid in a drop shadow there as well, just to give it a bit more, bit more depth of all these different layers, right? So now, I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna mix up half cobalt blue, half teal, and I gotta make sure I weigh everything, because as I work over the top of the car and then onto the trunk, I gotta make sure it's the exact same color. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh the colors, the paint that I mix up right now, and just hose it down. Well, after a long 12 and a half hour shift the other night, all the patterns on the hood are finished. And I am very stoked about this. I think it looks totally rad. So now, onto the roof. Pattern on the sail panel, starting to take shape. Love that gold, this is beautiful. And I got the gold done on the trunk lid. Nice, uh, I think it's about 12 coats around the edge and then like three for all the rest. Uh, I haven't gotten to the roof yet. Uh, I just wanted to get that done first before I, yeah, I wanted to get this fresh paint for me to lean all over, that, that, was, that was my plan. This is great, great, great thinking slick. Wow, maybe I was a little early in unmasking it. Look at this mess, just ripped it all off there. Yikes. Okay, time to clean that up, I guess. And there we go. No one will notice that, right? Looks pretty, pretty even to me. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna leave this mess up for now. All right, still plugging away on the Monte Carlo here. I just got the trunk. Uh, this is gonna be the, the cobalt blue that's masked off as well as the roof there. So I got some blue on the roof last night. So now I gotta throw that blue in the middle there and then I gotta wait for, for some more teal to get here. But I'm gonna get all this done tonight. That's the goal. Maybe not this, maybe, I don't know, cause this is, has like that fine line work that like we did on the on the hood back there. So I might get that done tonight, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah.
check with this payment. Okay. Good evening, guys. Another day. I haven't done a talk to the camera thing in a while, so I'll give you guys a little update of where I am and what I'm going to do next. So here's how the Monty is looking. So we're going over the roof now. Got the sail panel done. Looks totally killer. Going over the roof. Hood is finished. It's getting a little bit, getting a little dirty, a little dusty sitting. Needs some clear coat. So today I'm going to be carrying, carrying out the the lace from the hood the lace is going over the roof i'm gonna get all this done today i have to and then lace on the trunk and so there's four panels that run the full length of the car as well as this little section here and that little section there and if i'm feeling ambitious i might even go ahead and uh add in all the teal uh in this section that's between there and there because then i'll get the satisfaction of unmasking that ribbon um which is gonna be nice for sure so yeah, to start, I'm gonna get a tripod. All right, grab this guy. I need a new tripod badly. This thing's totally falling apart. Okay, well that works. Uh, car's masked up. Oh, that's nice. So when I was working on the hood, I was practicing different methods of of getting the lace stuck out, stuck down right. I was using tape and magnets and all sorts of stuff. Turns out this right here is the best stuff ever. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this. Multi-purpose adhesive, it's like what you use to, you know, redo a headliner or, or whatever, right? So you just give it a, a quick mist coat with this stuff and then, yeah, you take it off the table very carefully. You lay it down on wherever your, your panel, your, your lacing. And then, yeah, you can actually stretch it and stick it, stick it right down, and and it holds true to, uh, to uh, to its form. So it doesn't when you when you hit it with the airbrush or whatever, it doesn't get that air going underneath it and blowing it up with blurred out lines and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for this. Okay, well, I started my work night tonight at like 9.30, 10 or something. It is now... And just about uh, 10 minutes to three o'clock in the morning. And I've gotten all the teal done, the, all the patterns done. Yeah, I'm still, I don't know, slightly ambitious, I guess you would say. <laughs> but I'm not about to go and do what I mentioned earlier. I'm exhausted. This has been a long night, but look at this car. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is where it pays off. Actually, not right now, because I'm too tired to appreciate it, but tomorrow when I come down and I see it, I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah, that was worthwhile. Guaranteed, wait for it, wait for it, there it goes. guys in Lamborghinis think that my street's a racetrack and I totally appreciate that.
Okay, so the sail panel is finished and now it's on to laying out the fingerprinting on the deck lid. Like this is, I've probably been working at this, these patterns for probably like two months now. And I'm sure you can tell like throughout the video, my beard length has changed, my hair length has changed. I've gained 20 pounds and lost 20 pounds. And I don't know where I'm at right now, but this has been quite a process. Started in the summer, t-shirts at midnight, and now I can like see my breath when I come in the shop and I'm all bundled up at night. But yeah, I think I'm, think I'm gonna lay out something pretty cool right now. So here we go. Alright guys, well, I can hardly believe that I'm about to say this, but tonight I might actually get the patterns done on this car. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of mind blowing. So as you saw in the hyperlapse, focus, there we go. As we saw in the hyperlapse, um, I got all the fingerprinting done and then I just laid down a drop shadow underneath all the different uh, panels. So yeah, yeah, nice shadow there, really gives it some, some depth, right? So now I've got to mix up my secret formula. I used a, a top secret formula. It's, it's the only car in the whole world that has this exact um, color on it. So I'm going to mix up some of that. Uh, it's basically just teal and cobalt blue, but it's all about different weights. And, and yeah, I measured it out, so it's going to be exact. And mix up some of that, spray it on the trunk, and I don't know if I want to unmask it tonight. I don't want to have any peelbacks like you've seen me repair in the past. But by tonight, I think the patterns will be completely finished. Besides like the body color spears that run from the front to back, but you know, that'll that'll get done with the body color. But yeah, I think I think that's it. <laughs> folks good view from up here so that was the patterns episode for the Monte Carlo I'm just way up at the top of my bay door right now so yeah um, that's it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna climb down and wrap this episode so that's the end of the patterns episode and on the next episode of course we'll be painting the car in its beautiful bikini blue color so these this is probably like 
the longest it's ever taken me to make an episode. I've been working on the patterns on this car for ages, but here we are. Uh, patterns are done. They look gorgeous. I can't wait to see it all finished and it's in its full beautiful blue color as well as like some really deep clear coat. But first, before we go, I'm starting a new trend. Uh, if you can name this sound, you'll get uh, a shout out in the next YouTube episode. Uh, I'm going to do this like every video. I think it's going to be kind of something fun. So this is something that you guys have heard a million times before. If, if, if it clicks in your head, like it, it was, it was kind of a no brainer for me to use this sound clip. Uh, someone's going to get it right away. So here it is. So if you got that sound clip, comment below. Uh, I'm sure someone figured it out what it is like the second they heard it. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment below. Um, yeah, we're gonna have fun here. I have to get into the booth right now though because I have another car that's gonna come in. It's actually the first that's gonna come in. I have another car that's already here, which is actually my first, my first paid gig here at Slickworks is Justin's Pontiac this is a 67 Grand Parisian. Needs some tattoos. So it's gonna get a little bit of stripe work down. So see if I can do something cool. That episode might come before this one. This episode might come before that one. I don't know. But yeah, take care guys.